introduce Kathy Brewer, who is, needs no introduction, uh, and also Dr. Henry to say a few words, uh, and then we'll, we'll go ahead with the, with the program today. So welcome. We're so glad you're here. I mean, it really has been four years in the making, and we're all so happy COVID is hopefully behind us, and we're all here together. So um, I just want to say a few thank yous before I get started. Um, for those of you who were at the dinner last night, you, you heard the story, but I'm going to ask uh, Father Charles, Paul Naves, if you would stand, Charles. <laughs> So I want to say thank you very much to Charles. Charles makes this meeting possible through his generosity. So please give him a huge round of applause. So thank you for making it possible. I, I also have to thank Dr. Uh, Go and Dr. Goyle for um, opening up their facility, opening up their hearts, and opening up their time and their knowledge to pull all of this together. Um, without them, this wouldn't be possible either. And they have stuck by us for four long years. So thank you. Um, Jean Pudlow joined us uh, a few months ago and the meeting was kind of in the middle of the planning stages and she jumped in and made it happen. And so she's been uh, a godsend literally to make this all happen. Um, so thank you, Jean. Uh, and around the room, we have um, some of the medical professionals who were all here yesterday talking about the research that's going on. Um, and many of them have stayed over to be part of this and will be giving presentations throughout the day. But if I could ask you guys to raise your hands just so people can see you over here on this table or some. The ones behind me. So um, please give them, they give their time freely because they care about us. So thank you guys. And we have staff and volunteers who, who pull together all the details to make it as seamless as it can be. And so to them, a big thank you. And most of all, to you guys for being here, for having the courage to be here every day and do what you can to make your life and everyone else's life better. Thanks. So <laughs> with that, I'll, I'll get started. Um, oh, well, it's a little bit different slide set than I thought. So I'm just gonna talk. <laughs> um, so I was asked to give a little history of how the organization got started and um, so back in 2008, there were a few of us who found each other on the internet. My husband had recently passed away undiagnosed from ECD. And so um, I was trying to understand more about the disease. I learned that he had Erdheim Chester disease from an autopsy. And I was trying to learn more about it. Other people were living with Erdheim Chester disease and we found each other on the internet back then we had what we called chat rooms, but we typed and we began chatting. And some of you may have actually been on those chat sessions. And from there, we realized we needed to join together as an organization. And that's how the, the group got started, very much grassroots. Um, we were encouraged to build a website and form an organization, which we did. And we started with some really good um, ideas about what we could uh, accomplish. And they were things like, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could have a meeting and meet together? And guess what? Here we are. And we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if there could be research going on to learn more about the disease? And guess what? There is. Wouldn't it be great if we had treatments? Guess what? There is. So what it has taught me is that when we come together for the good of all, there's no end to what we can accomplish. So that's where we are today. And so we're very excited about that. Um, but into the future, we have some goals and I'm gonna ask um, Dr. Hendry to, to talk about the future and where we have yet to go. We've, we've accomplished a lot 
but we have a lot further to go.